Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Vault. My name is Rob, it's good to see you guys back here on the channel once again. This video is my 1990s horror picks. If you haven't already seen, I've done a 2010s and a 2000s horror picks. So before we get into the video, two quick rules once again. Rule number one, the movies I'm gonna talk about here, there's 10 picks. I have a stack of stuff here off to the side. I must have them on physical media within the collection, the Movie Vault here. If I don't have them, that may be why the movie you're thinking of is not in my list. Rule number two, this is my list, it's not your list it's mine you don't have to like the list you don't have to love the list but this is just my recommendations to you guys the viewers so with all that being said i'm going to ask you guys one more quick favor if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell to get notified every time i post a new video if you like these horror list videos i do watch lists where i talk about everything i've been watching the last couple of weeks uh, movie reviews 4k blu-ray dvd vhs laserdisc funko pop vinyl you name it it's here on the movie vault so hit that subscribe button hit the bell and let's get into this video okay guys so the actual list i will mention this list is not in any particular order so it's not ranked or anything like that this is just the way i've written them down on my notes in front of me right here so number one is 1996's from dusk till dawn fantastic vampire movie directed by robert rodriguez fantastic cast again i keep saying fantastic in all these videos but uh, harvey Keitel, george clooney quentin tarantino juliet lewis and of course the unforgettable selma hayek's in there as well the special effects on this one done by kmb uh, the special effects company KMB. So if you're not familiar, uh, Greg Nicotero, who, who was a founder and member of KMB, he does all the stuff for The Walking Dead. He has a small guest role in From Dusk Till Dawn, as does Tom Savini, so watch out for those. Yeah, some of the visual effects look bad now, um, looking back on this 96, but the, the practical special effects are really well done. Um, the vampires look cool, I thought really, you know, really well done, really different. A lot of green, you know, vampire blood instead of red blood. I think they kind of talked about, even though this, this did get an 18s rating over here in Ireland and the UK, um, I did hear Rodriguez uh, talk about um, how he wanted to use green blood so he could get around the MPAA in the States, that it wasn't blood, it was just green, green blood instead of red blood. So that's how he kind of got around that. But yeah, really cool vampire movie. Number one on the list is From Dusk Till Dawn. So number two up on my list here, if you're familiar with the channel or you've watched before, this is my favorite movie, so you're gonna know what this one is straight off the bat. It's The Crow from 1994. This is an Australian version I imported, and here is the regular uh, European version. But yeah, directed by Alex Proyas, stars Brandon Lee, Ernie Hudson, Michael Wincott, and Tony Todd is in there as well, really cool. Uh, Brandon Lee was phenomenal in this for me, fantastic stuff. Um, nothing can kind of describe the anticipation after Brandon Lee sadly passed away making The Crow. I can't kind of explain to you guys what it was like unless you're somebody my age you know waiting to see this movie it can only be kind of mirrored like you know back in 2008 when Heath Ledger passed away and the anticipation for the Dark Knight I can only kind of mirror it um, with that or kind of trying to explain to you guys how it was waiting to see this movie and um, some people might not class this as a horror I do and um, it was one of the best movies in the kind of early to mid 90s for me really standout movie and uh, yeah I do recommend checking out if you haven't seen it The Crow 1994. Number three up on the list is from 1990. This is Stephen King's It. This is the original, the, the kind of two-part TV movie, not the remake. Um, this is directed by Tommy Lee Wallace, who you guys will know from the Halloween franchise. He's involved in an awful lot of stuff with Halloween. Uh, directed Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, of course, and he directs Stephen King's It here for TV. Cast included in this one, I should say, is, um, there's lots of people here because there's obviously the child and the adult cast, but let me tell you guys, Tim Curry, Harry Anderson, Dennis Christopher, Richard Masur, Annette O'Toole, Tim Reed, John Ritter, and Richard Thomas. As I mentioned, two-part TV movie back in the day in the 90s of the book, the Stephen King book. It I really liked part one with the kids. I thought that was well done. And it kind of it doesn't flow through into part two for me with the adults. It just feels a bit disjointed, bit disconnected um, when the adult cast takes over in this version of it for me. Tim Curry is great as Pennywise for as little as he's in this movie. He's not in it an awful lot and um, you can see him here on the cover, uh, Creepy Clowns, uh, really cool, cool looking. This was, this was it for us back in the 90s. Not a remake guy, Tim Curry was the man. Uh, so that's 1990s Stephen King's It. Number four on the list here for me is 1997's I Know What You Did Last Summer. This is a DVD copy I have from years ago. Uh, directed by Jim Gillespie. Uh, cast includes Jennifer Love Hewitt, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Freddie Prinze Jr. and Ryan Filippi. And just talking about the cast, this was a super hot cast for the time. They were really all at the height of their careers. The peak, you know, Sarah Michelle Gellar was very involved in Buffy. 
in 97. Jennifer Love Hewitt was on TV as well, as was Freddie Prince Jr. and Ryan Felipe. They were all in a bunch of stuff, so um, pretty, uh, for all four of them, yeah, you know, like kind of the peak of what was going on for them. Uh, so all these horrors and slashers got like really kick-started in the mid to late 90s, and this was kind of the result of that. It's a really good one, um, nice plot twist in there, you know, they accidentally run the guy over, um, and then a summer later, somebody comes back telling them, I know what you did last summer. So um, that's kind of as much as I'll say without giving spoilers away, but do check this one out. Yeah, number four is, I know what you did last summer. Number five up on my list here is 1992 is Candyman. This is a really old collector's edition DVD I have here, directed by Bernard Rose. Cast on this one includes Tony Todd, Virginia Madsen, Xander Berkeley, and Cassie Lemons. Um, one of those defining roles movies for Tony Todd, and rightfully so, he's fantastic in this as Candyman. Man. Uh, Virginia Madsen is really great in this as well. I really like her in this one. There's some issues coming up a lot lately because there is a remake of Candyman happening and there's all these kind of complaints about uh, the shooting location, Cabrini Green, and all these kind of stereotypes um, at the time back in 1992 for this one um, but to me it's always just been a, one of those great urban legend uh, horror movies and uh, I do recommend checking it out Candyman 1992. Number six up on the list here this is 1996's Scream directed by Wes Craven um, what a cast David Arquette, Nev Campbell, Neve Campbell, Nev Campbell, um, Courtney Cox, Matthew Lillard, Rose McGowan, Skeet Ulrich and Drew Barrymore just to name a few in here so um, not to say that horror was doing bad in the 90s, but you know, in 1996, Scream comes along and kind of kicks the door wide open again and reinvigorates horror. And as I mentioned, well, I know what you did last summer back at number four, um, all the kind of, all these horrors and slashers got kind of a, a re, you know, restarted, reinvigorated. Everything just got going again for horror in the mid 90s, around 96 when Scream came out. The opening of this movie is great. It's not afraid to kind of make fun of itself or make fun of the horror genre, um, which is really evident in the whole opening with Drew Barrymore and then to put Drew Barrymore in and uh, spoiler but she's killed within the first five minutes of the movie and um, was really uh, was really something to behold uh, back in 96 but um great cast in here I think they all portray their roles or characters really well to perfection if I'm if I'm being honest a uh, really great movie Scream 1996. For my number seven pick, we're going to jump back to 1992 with Bram Stoker's Dracula, directed by none other than Francis Ford Coppola. Cast, uh, I'll talk about like fantastic cast as I keep saying in these videos. Gary Oldman, Winona Ryder, Anthony Hopkins, and Keanu Reeves to name but a few. I was a big Winona, or was I am a big Winona Ryder fan. That's how I kind of came across Bram Stoker's Dracula here. Gary Oldman is just unbelievable in this as Dracula, um, especially when he plays the old man Dracula with the kind of white hair and he's just a super creepy looking. And, uh, fantastic like makeup uh, and stuff like that it's a bit of an epic movie um big look like big feel the set design is unbelievable and it's like you would kind of you know harping back to the original dracula and the torties and stuff so um really great set design and um, the creature the creature looks uh, look fantastic as well in this one and uh, yeah as i mentioned good cast so if you're kind of into your vampire movies or your kind of old school dracula vampire movies do check out bram stoker's dracula from 1992 my number eight pick here comes from 1996 and is directed by none other than Peter Jackson. It's The Frighteners. Here I have a DVD copy. Cast includes Michael J. Fox, Jeffrey Combs, Trini Alvarado, D. Wallace and Jake Busey. So you have a couple of cool actors, actresses in there for this one. And um, this is Peter Jackson pre Lord of the Rings and all that sort of nonsense he went off and done after the fact. Um, old school Peter Jackson doing some horror movies. Jeffrey Combs I think is really great in this one. Um, Michael J. Fox is great in the lead. Um, the special effects look questionable now but you know back in 96 uh, these were the top of the line special effects uh, as they were sort of being developed and created going along the way and um, the ghosts look cool the Michael J Fox's sort of friends or whatever they look really great and a uh, really good idea I like this movie and um, Dee Wallace is in there as well so you get a couple of a uh, couple of other actors actresses from the horror genre and Jeffrey Combs as I mentioned so yeah The Frighteners 1996 do check this one out my number nine pick on the list here is 1999's The Blair Witch Project. Fantastic movie. This is a DVD copy I have here. Directed by Dan Merrick and Ed Sanchez. Uh, your cast is just three people. Heather Donahue, Michael Williams, and Joshua Leonard. So this is the OG found footage movie. Um, I don't recall there being anything before this. I could be wrong in saying that maybe there was, but for me, this is the first one I saw back in 99. Um, basically, they... It, it's vlogging before vlogging was even a thing. These three go into the woods to kind of shoot a documentary about the Blair Witch and um, 
yeah, you know, it kind of delves into people losing their minds out in the middle of the woods, disoriented, like can't find their way back. Where are we? We're in this creepy woods. What is going on? And that ending, I'm still not sure what even happened at the end of this movie myself, like, you know, 20 odd years later, a fantastic movie. Check out The Blair Witch Project. And last but not least, my number 10 pick, final pick here in the 1990s horror picks is 1998's John Carpenter's Vampires. We couldn't talk about uh, horror lists without including John Carpenter, the master in here. This is a Blu-ray copy of Vampires. Directed by John Carpenter, obviously cast includes James Woods, Daniel Baldwin, Cheryl Lee and Thomas Ian Griffith in there uh, as the kind of lead or the head vampire. Really cool vampire hunting movie. This is a kind of a strange one where, you know, we're kind of exorcist, exorcism movies where it's all like, this is a, these are the priests the church is sending. These are vampire, vampire hunters that are sort of sanctioned by the church or whatever. There's a priest included in the crew. Um, they're sent by the church to kind of, you know, hunt these vampires down. J James Woods isn't an actor I overly like, but I thought he's super cool in this one. This movie, Vampires, is where I kind of discovered Cheryl Lee, kind of fell in love with Cheryl Lee through this one, and then kind of delved into the whole world of Twin Peaks, realizing when I looked up what else she was involved with, what other kind of TV shows, movies she was in. So um, really memorable, memorable for me for those reasons. And um, Carpenter does the music and directs. He's the master. What else can I say? Um, all good in my book, John Carpenter's Vampires, 1998. Okay guys, so that's my 10 picks. Once again, it's hard to kind of compress everything down just to 10 movies over a decade's worth of horror releases. So I have a couple of bonus picks for you real quick here at the end. First one up is Halloween H20. This is the Blu-ray from my massive Halloween box set, that 15 disc box set. This one, you know, it isn't the greatest Halloween, but for me, this is the first brand new Halloween movie that came out that after I became a fan and became aware of the franchise. Um, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis is back in here for like the first time of her return to the franchise. Pretty kind of cool teen cast at the time. We have Michelle Williams, Josh Hartnett's in there. Uh, who else is Jodie Lynn O'Keefe? Like Janet Lee is in there as well. It's great to see um, Jamie Lee Curtis and, and her mother, Janet Lee. Um, shared a couple of scenes there and um, directed by Steve Miner this one it wasn't the, it ended up not being the greatest you know Mike, there was a whole issues with the mask and all that I've, I've spoken about that before on the channel I believe but um, it was the first new Halloween that came along uh, since I became a fan of the franchise in 98 I believe this was so um, yeah give it a look if you're into the Halloween movies you'll know all about it but that was my first bonus pick up here Next one is this 1990, yes, 1990, The Exorcist 3. This is the Arrow video release, the um, limited edition. Uh, theatrical cut and director's cut as well. I have a whole video made about this that I will post. Um, for me, I prefer the theatrical cut. It just makes more sense. The director's cut is a little bit disjointed for me, but um, it's really kind of, really creepy. Um, you know, the scene with the shears going across the hallway and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I just thought I would give it a mention here because The Exorcist is fantastic. Exorcist 2 bombs, but um, Exorcist 3 is worth a watch. Um, yeah, you know, one of the 90s bonus picks here for me. Next one up, once again, uh, Josh Hartnett kind of just, you know, he makes it big in the 90s because he's in this other one, uh, The Faculty. Uh, maybe more kind of a sci-fi kind of a thing, but there is some horror elements in there. I do recommend checking this out. Where was this? Like somewhere around 98 or something again, I believe. Yeah, The Faculty is another one up. Next bonus one, uh, The Craft. This is an old collector's edition DVD here. Um, really cool, you know, witchcraft kind of stuff to kind of change it up instead of the usual horrors and slashers and exorcists and all that sort of stuff. Feruza Balk, Robin Tunney, Nev Campbell, Neve Campbell, Rachel True, fantastic, the four ladies here in this one. Uh, really well done, directed by Andrew Fleming. Um, yeah, the four of them are witches, is basically the quick one of that one. And the last one I'm gonna rec recommend here for the 90s is, um, this was 1993, Return of the Living Dead Tree. This is a full uncut DVD version here. Uh, Mindy Clark on the cover, the cover is what interests me. I bought it based on the loan. Um, this chick's pretty hot, so that's the reason I bought it. And a uh, really cool vampire movie. And there's three of them. Uh, I have the first one, and I don't have the second one in the collection here. But um, yeah, really cool. So she's killed and kind of turns into a zombie. Um, you know, by this these kind of barrels of stuff. Trioxin is the name of the stuff. You know, in an army army barracks kind of thing, army camp. Um, yeah, I haven't watched it in a long time. I may revisit it here now after talking about it here in the video. But that's my last uh, recommendation, bonus recommendation here on the 1990s horror picks. That's going to do it, guys, for the video. Of course, don't forget to check out my social media links up here in the corner. Leave a comment down below. What do you think? Um, have you seen any of these? Do you like them? 
Is there anything I haven't had on the list? Uh, don't forget the rules at the start of the video though. It might not be in the list because I've, I don't have it on physical media. I don't want to talk about it here on the channel. I've seen plenty of other stuff that I just don't have and I would rather show you guys the physical media um, and support physical media still in this day and age. That's, um, that's gonna wrap it guys. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I asked you guys at the start of the video and hit the bell to get notified every time I post those new videos so you can be one of the first people to watch. That's gonna do it. I'll see you guys on the next video which will be the 1980s horror picks. Look forward to talking to you once again. Thanks guys, talk to you on the next one.